Okay. Hello and welcome to today's IRENA training webinar on downloading and exporting data with the Global Atlas for Renewable Energy. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Kristen Deason and I am a program officer with IRENA. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to today's webinar. Before we start our program, I would like to go over some technical information. For today's webinar, we have two options for listening in. You may connect by computer by selecting mic and speakers, or by phone by selecting the telephone option in the right-hand panel. If you should face any technical difficulties during the webinar, please contact the GoToWebinar help desk at the number provided on your screen. If you would like to watch this webinar again or share it with a friend, we will have a full recording available on the IRENA website as well as on the IRENA YouTube channel. We will send you the link to the recording after the webinar. Today's webinar will first provide a short overview of the new version of the Global Atlas for Renewable Energy that was launched last week. Then we will present a live demonstration of some of the new features of the platform, including the print and export feature and the data download feature. We will conclude with a question and answer session, and the entire webinar should be completed within one hour. For those of you not familiar with IRENA, we are the intergovernmental agency mandated by countries around the world to promote the widespread and sustainable use of all forms of renewable energy. IRENA currently has 147 members and 29 states in the process of becoming members. In January 2013, IRENA launched the Global Atlas for Renewable Energy. This program was an outcome of the Clean Energy Ministerial process and is aimed at facilitating open access to renewable resource data, analysis, and methods in order to accelerate the initiation and development of a broader range of renewable energy projects. The initiative provides a freely available online platform that uses a map-based interface to provide global data on solar, wind, geothermal, bioenergy, and ocean energy resources. Currently, 67 countries and more than 50 institutes and partners are contributing to the initiative, and the interface provides access to over 2,000 data sets that can help with renewable energy planning. Our first speaker is Jacinto Estima, Program Officer with IRENA, who will offer an overview of the new version of the Global Atlas. Jacinto? Thank you, Christine. Thank you for being with us today. Today is a milestone for the Global Atlas. For the first time, a public platform is not only providing quality resource data for free, it also allows to print online and to download. Why is that important for all of us? After the Paris Climate Agreement, the world needs practical tools to accelerate the deployment of renewable energy. We know that the future wave of new markets is in countries that recently established renewable energy targets. We see the bulk of the growth may very well happen not only in developed and emerging economies, but in the developing world we expect investments to triple in less than a generation. Clearly this is not going to happen without a sharp increase in the confidence of investors and the supply chain that this is a viable option. Fortunately, we know more than what we think. Thanks to the tremendous increase in the modeling capabilities for resource mapping, we can have a pretty good idea about the technical soundness of renewable projects. But of course, this, is not help. this does not help if these capabilities remain a niche market or are locked behind technical walls. With its partners, IRENA is working to improve the quality and precision of the public available data and making sure it is being used to get more projects on the ground. We also work to promote the latest advances and expertise of the resource mapping communities. We want to make sure renewable energy markets can move as quickly and with the lowest entry costs as possible. Thank you, Jacinto. Our next speaker is Abdul Malik. Oricha Ali, Associate Program Officer for Renewable Energy Assessment. Abdul Malik will be showing a live demonstration of the print and export feature and the data download feature. Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration on how to print map images and how to download layers from the Global Atlas 2.1 release. 
To print map images, simply click on the print icon at the top bar or in the main menu of the interface. And once you do that, uh, our system reveals to you uh, a neat interface with the same map, its legend, and the descriptions of all the layers that are contained in the map. On this interface, you can move the layer, uh, you can move the legend around, you can change the description, and you can print out content in different formats. One of the formats you can print out content in would be uh, sending out a direct uh, print to your uh, to printers that might be connected to your computer, or getting a PDF saved to your computer, or downloading the same image in a Word document if it is the case that you are preparing a report. Or getting images which you could use to produce either banners or posters, depending on what the use case is. Now moving on to the download. To download a layer from the Global Atlas, all you need to do is right click on the layer. Our system checks for you if this layer is downloadable or not. And the reason for this is because not all layers available on the platform have been allowed for download by their data providers. If such a layer is downloadable, the download button in this menu becomes active. Click on it, and what you get is a prompt asking you to position a rectangle on the region where you would like to perform the download. Position the rectangle appropriately, click on the rectangle, and click on download in the dialog that shows up. This operation gives you two files, one of which is a GOT file, which you can put on external GIS applications like Quantum GIS, uh, Global Mapper, or Google Earth for further spatial analysis. Take note that the result of the operation is with uh, two files, a GOT file and a text file which contains the description of the layer you are downloading. It is important to note that with these two capabilities, the print and the download, you are entirely responsible for acknowledging the providers of the information you are either printing out or downloading. So it is your responsibility to do this and to do this uh, properly. Now to wrap up, I would introduce you very very quickly to another functionality of the, this 2.1 release, which allows you to share content with colleagues and other um, associates who might be interested in renewable energy mapping information. So at the top right, in the, in the bar at the, top, uh, at the top, on the right side, you would find icons to share on Facebook, to share maps on Twitter, and to get links to maps which you can share via other messaging solutions such as emails. Thank you very much, Christine. Thank you, Abdelmalik. All right, I would like to thank everyone for participating in the webinar today. If we were not able to answer all of your questions during this session, please email us at potentials at irena.org. I also invite you to connect with us on social media to keep abreast of the latest Global Atlas news. Our accounts are listed on the screen here. Thank you again for your participation, and this concludes today's webinar. <laughs>